He's getting married, so we need some sagely advice. Say you had been with the guy for about eight months, you had told him you needed some time. If he hadn't made a movie Woo! to try to win you back, do you think he would have a chance? Maybe Depending on the back. movie. I think so. I'd want him to be honest and sincere and be true to himself. Spontaneous. Not necessarily planned out, scripted, anything like that. Just kind of whatever yeah, comes up. Kind of like what we're doing right now? Exactly. Oh, I, do, I think it's a great idea. If any of my ex-boyfriends see this, they can't win me back by making a movie, but... Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a good idea. Good luck. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. My name is Michael Davis, and I'm a filmmaker. Two days ago, my girlfriend broke up with me. And I figured since uh, this is what I do, making a movie to win her back would probably be a kind of cool thing, better than uh, chocolate or flowers. I'm more used to being on the other side of the camera, by the way. My ex-girlfriend um, is an actress, and that's part of the reason this seemed like a good idea, is that if I could make some kind of interesting story about us, and it did any good, then maybe it could help her career and that could make me look good in her eyes. We're starting with, uh, yesterday when, I, when the idea came to me, I set up the camera real quick and gave her a call. Well, it might seem like a bumpy one at best, it's uh, not the total of our relationship, but it seemed like a good place to start is the here and now. So. Um, this is me talking to her yesterday, and uh, then we'll see what else I can come up with from there. <laughs> okay, bye. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Hey. Hi. How are you? Hello? Hey. Hi. What are you doing? Uh, TV. Yeah. Oh. How's that working out for you? <laughs> uh, pretty good. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> um, usual. Just working a little bit. And uh thought I'd give you a call. So uh, <laughs> sorry for the uh, uncomfortable silence. <laughs> I don't know, just wondering if you uh thought anything about yesterday and what we talked about. I haven't been thinking about much else, <laughs> to, to tell you the truth. I mean, uh, I don't know. I'm just uh, anxious, I guess, for you to get to whatever place it is you need to get to. Because uh, it hadn't been that long, and I already miss you, you know? I'll call you or you call me in a few days or something. And yeah, yeah, I'll call you in a couple of days. Maybe hook up or do something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are, you know? <laughs> so. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. All right. Well, All right. I miss yeah. you. And, uh, yeah, you too. Have a good night. 
And I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. Stacy and I were almost a non-event, as it were. Um, we met through some mutual friends and uh, talked and chatted a little bit, but um, I don't know. She was too hot and uh, younger and too hot <laughs> and and I gave her my card but really didn't expect to see her again and while some people talk about love at first sight I, I don't I don't know I'm a little more guarded than that and um, I, I wait to love till I realize there's an opportunity <laughs> and uh, about two weeks after we met um, she called me and she had something that she was doing some show and wanted to see how it was going to look because apparently they were going to be taping it and she had choreographed something or yeah anyway so she called me up and said uh hey i uh, got to do this thing and i was wondering if you'd be willing to come tape me dance well <laughs> uh, duh. uh so i was there with my camera uh way too early in the morning and uh embarrassed myself considerably but um the clip you're about to see, she hasn't seen edited. She saw the raw footage from that day. Um, and I guess I'll leave the rest for you to figure out as you see it. So um, since Stacy hadn't seen it yet, Stacy, I hope you like it. It's on? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not really ready yet. Can I warm up? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and how do you want it to look? Um, like, do you well, want I mean, you wide close-ups? Liberty with it and some close-ups, but I'd really love to see um, the movement and the choreography. So, you know, some. So mostly wider shots. Yeah, some wider shots. Well, if you don't have issue with it, I'd like to maybe tape it a few times so I got some stuff to play with. Yeah, that's cool. I need to practice it. <laughs> so, how long have you been dancing? <laughs> wow. Uh, A while? Yeah, pretty long time. You look ready. Cool. All right, well, um, I'll just start the song and I'll uh, Let me get the tripod set up quick. Okay. Oh, so you weren't ready? Well, no, I was. <laughs> I just forgot that I was supposed to be doing something. <laughs> you just looked so good oh. that I couldn't stop filming long enough to get ready to film. So there's some with the tripod to give you the water shots that you want, and then I'll probably use the monopod. And then I might not use a pot at all. I might go podless. I know it's a gutsy move on my part. <laughs> but thank you, by the way, for doing this. Um, it's my pleasure. <laughs> my lady. I was thinking about the audition. I thought about you the other day, and I saw your card, so I call you. So thanks. And luckily, I was in a swamp with people throwing money luckily. at me. Luckily. I'm ready when you are. Alright, I hope the volume is
Is that about it? That's about it. I can't do more. How was it? It was awesome. Yeah. I gotta say, I'm, I'm pretty inspired. It makes me wish I took this. Oh. <laughs> Maybe some, uh, clumsy classes too. <laughs> No, it's quite all right. Oh, come on. <laughs> Did you guys see me fall on my ass trying to sit down? <laughs> come on. I'll teach you like the easiest thing in the world. It's easiest thing in the world. Easiest thing in the world. Leaving this on to show my mom because she won't believe me. <laughs> oh, yuck. Yeah, here's a little something for... Might get a little sweaty. Here's, here's a little something for world's funniest... Oh, please no. <laughs> oh, come on. It's uh, called it, a shunning. Can't we just do a pirouette or no, something? No, no. A pirouette's even harder. Come over here. You step. step and then you connect the dots. But your arm goes too. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. <laughs> that was, that was good. You can do better than that. You can go there. Oh, that's going to so be, be really graceful when I do. You got your left leg. Well, and you see straight. You got to see straight. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. straight. Just, yeah. Says who? Oh, um, yeah. that's just how it is. That's that's kind of really hurts. <laughs> Solid gold is not calling me anytime soon. One, two. Step. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Hi. Dancing rules. <laughs> Oh yeah. Really? Definitely. It just would be so, um, I would see this whole creative side of him that I'd never seen before. I, I want to get back with him right now. <laughs> Where is he? That's awesome. Me. Oh. Something that you would suggest a guy do if he's trying to win back. Be creative, be romantic, be, um, just show your heart. That's it. Michael, you can see you're even still on our refrigerator. <laughs> Yay! And this is good of all of us. It's good of you, even. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that evening, that was fun. We had a good time. And that was before we went on that trip. With Tracy. Uh huh. When Tracy Hi, came over. Hi, Tracy. Yeah. It's a terrible one of me. Don't show it. <laughs> the one that I'm showing right now? Uh-huh. Don't show it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Look in there. And there must have been something interesting in her toes in that one. Well, she, Philip, she always likes for her daddy to give her foot rubs. That's all, ever since she was a little girl, she liked foot rubs. <laughs> Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. Maybe not, that's it. If you're able foot to put rubs. <laughs> See, that if I help. only looked at your refrigerator, <laughs> ask a couple key questions. Just a few secrets. So, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jensen, thank you for taking the time to do this. Um, and I hope you're not too uncomfortable meeting with your uh, daughter's ex-boyfriend <laughs> to do this little interview thingy. Since this is a movie and I'm not the only one who's gonna be watching this and I think I understand why you're doing this. Um, I think maybe the first question might be why you agreed to be in your daughter's ex-boyfriend's movie about your daughter. I'm, I am uncomfortable doing this. It's not something we're used to doing, certainly. The reason I think we consented is because we like you, Michael. We always have. We thought you and Stacy were wonderful together. Um, and if this helps you along, helps you deal with the relationship, with the end of it, or understand what's happening, then we're delighted to do whatever we can. Or, or win her back. If that <laughs> works also, that's fine. <laughs> that would be just fine also whatever is going to end up being best for her and for you. Right. Well, I'm not convinced it is such a good idea. I'm happy to do the interview and presume that you'll 
convince us that we should continue with the movie. Uh, I need to hear a little more from you about what your expectations are and where you see it perhaps winding up. But like she said, um, we do like you, and, and if this is something that will help uh, help you and certainly help uh, Stacy if it can, then obviously we're going to support that. Right. She told us about you. She really did, and she was excited. She liked the idea that you were a movie maker and filmmaker, and she found that very intriguing. And there was a lot about you that she liked, and she told us about, and we were. So we were interested in looking forward to meeting you, and we've enjoyed it. We've had a good time visiting with y'all during y'all's relationship. And I've missed seeing you these last six weeks. Well, I mean, uh, there's been some comment over time. I think you've made a reference to it before, Michael, about the fact that you're a few years older than, uh, than Stacy. And I, I don't think that age difference is important. Some people might, but it, it's, it's never been a factor for me. She's uh, certainly uh, mature enough to make those decisions on her own, and, and uh, uh, it, it wasn't an issue. In fact, what you may not know is that in spite of my youthful countenance, I'm actually eight years older than her mother, <laughs> and so the age difference could really never be, for me, a factor. Uh -huh. At um, least on his side of it. <laughs> so just to clue you in i'm editing this thing as it comes in kind of and trying to not get too far ahead of myself and uh it's almost starting to make some sense i don't know if it's any good or if anyone but me is going to enjoy it or hopefully stacy but uh if you're hanging so long um thanks <laughs> hopefully uh, it'll get better hopefully anyway i guess uh got a hold of brandon jenkins and he's agreed to do an interview um and some of you might actually know who that is. He's a musician who's had some uh, um, taste of fame and uh, has had a few big songs. Try to make a long story short is that he got a hold of me somehow through the website or he'd see my stuff or somebody told him about me or something and wanted to do a video for this song he had wrote about Austin, Texas. And um, so he called me and we agreed upon a price and an idea and I was going to do it, and I managed to get Stacy in that one. So that was the first time, um, other than the uh, ballet, which I didn't really direct her in that. She more directed me. But uh, it was the first time that I worked with her, and so it's kind of special in, in that regard. So She was also in the... Uh, we did a runaway commercial where Stacy got to be 16 and running away. And she was too hot for that, almost. But... Uh, made it black and white and it looked a little darker and it came out really cool and i, I can show you i can show you um part of that right now i can't show the whole thing but i can show some of the raw footage because we sold it and it's not mine no more but i can show the little bit of her so it's probably playing right now if i was smart i'd just have it going over this so we're gonna um try to talk to brandon and uh probably show the Austin video and then we also did another one for him called Down in Flames and uh, well, maybe I'll put that one on the DVD. <laughs> it's kind of neat to think about this because well I assume that if you're watching this I actually finished it and that there's something there to watch so it's cool for me now as it's kind of getting chunked together as it goes along to think about stuff like that further on down the line. Anyway um Brandon's a cool dude, and uh, we're going to talk to him. So, uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, our little chat with Brandon. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. There's the mic. All right. Yabba dabba do. Hello. Uh, Brandon, how yes. are you doing, sir? Good. I appreciate you doing this. <laughs> I know it's a little goofy, and I know it's a little weird, but... Uh, Oh, what are friends for? It, it's what I'm doing, so uh, mm. I'm glad you'll be a part of it. So uh, you're one of the few, actually, uh, early on, got to have Stacy in your video. Yeah, everybody always asks who she is, and I always tell her that that's uh, Mike's girlfriend. And I actually, I'll tell them it's my girlfriend. But <laughs> <laughs> now, they do always ask about you, Stacy. That's awesome. So you know we broke up. Not too all that long ago. And you might know that I'm making a movie to try to get her back. 
Yes. So I'm kind of wondering what your uh, take is on that. I don't know. It's, I mean, it's sweet, I guess, in one way, but then, I don't know, kind of sad in the other <laughs> <way>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If a girl made a video like this, it would probably scare the hell out of me. <laughs> I'd get a protective order immediately. No, I'm only serious. You want my true? Or you, you want me to well, say kinda, nice things or be true? It's kind of, I, it's a documentary. Uh, well, so. you know, I think she probably left for a reason. You know. Have you ever heard my song, Down in Flames? Yeah. I'm, <laughs> well, I'm vaguely familiar with it. No, I, you know, I, I wish you well, but, you know, I, I think uh, women make decisions, and she's made hers. I, I, I hope you guys remain friends. I, I actually hope this works, but... Uh, I don't see much chance of it. <laughs> All right. But he is a great guy. I think yes, I think you should get back with Mike. Do you have any parting words for Stacy? You can say those straight to the camera. <laughs> Ryan! <laughs> no. No, uh, Michael's a good guy and I know he loves you very much and uh, I hope you give him a second chance. I, re I really do. I hope she gives you a second chance. So do I. All right, I appreciate it, brother. Later. Austin, I sure do hate to leave. Got everything I want down here waiting for me. I love the weather cause it's always hot. Not to mention all the music they got. You don't have to be something you're not down in Austin. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Same old thing. Yeah, what you been up to lately? Um, you working on a new project, but nothing exciting. Yeah. No, nothing you would care about. No, but, uh, and you? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, crazy busy. <laughs> uh, you know, rehearsals and... Uh, whatever, that's the way I like it, though. You know. Yeah. Busy. Uh, yeah. Well, that's cool. Um, uh, was wondering if you wanted to do something tomorrow night. Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Um, but I actually kind of have to chase you. We were going to make it a movie night for my place. Uh, yeah. Well, that's 
been too long. It has been a while. One might say, especially if that they were me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has been a while. Um, but yeah, I, I don't uh, have my planner uh, out right now, so I guess, uh, you know, give me a call All right. my time and, you know, we'll figure out something. Well, cool. Well, that's all I asked for. <laughs> <laughs> well, I look forward to it. Whatever it is or whenever it is, I look forward to it. So, okay. All right. I will uh, talk to you soon then. Yes. All right. Um, um, <laughs> love you, miss you, bye. Yeah, alrighty. <laughs> all right, bye. So I wish we had filmed more or that I had filmed more when we were together, but... Uh, and maybe you wouldn't have to watch this next clip. Well, maybe you would. But I'd probably put in less. But I don't have that much stuff. So I got to make do with what I have. And uh, But the good news is I'm only including one part of this. And that was uh, she was rehearsing for Shakespeare. And, um, and I'm sorry to say that I was reading with her. So <laughs> you're going to have to suffer through me. And Mr. Shakespeare, I apologize. <laughs> This one is A Midsummer Night's Dream, page 265. And we'll start 188 with you. 265. Um, so I'm now Demetrius. Demetrius. I love thee not, therefore pursue me not. Where is Leasing there and Hemia? <laughs> Her <Hermione. laughs> Where is Lysander and fair Hermia? Dude, that's what I said. Um... The, where is Lysander and Hermia? Was that right? The one I'll slay, the other slayeth me. Thou toast me they were stolen unto the woods, and here I am, and wood within this wood, because I cannot meet my Hermia. Hence... Hermia. Right. Hence, get thee gone, and follow me no more. You draw me, you hard-hearted adamant, but yet you draw not iron, for my heart is true as steel. Leave you your power to draw, and I shall have no power to follow you. Do I entice you? Do I speak you fair? Or rather do I not, in plainest truth, tell you, I do not, nor cannot, love you? And even for that do I love you the more. <laughs> I am your... Spaniel! And Demetrius, the more you beat me, I will fawn on you. Use me, but as you use your Spaniel. This chick's awesome. Spurn me. Strike me. <laughs> neglect me. Lose me. Only give me leave unworthy as I am to follow you. What worser place can I beg in your love, and yet a place of high <laughs> respect with me, than to be used as you use your dog? <laughs> Okay, he doesn't want to be with a Y. Because he's not you. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'll run from thee and hide in the bricks. <laughs> Whatever the bricks are, that's where I'll be hiding. And leave thee to the mercy of wild beasts. The wildest have not such a heart as you. Run when you will, the story shall be changed. Apollo flies and Daphne holds the chase. Oh, and it's Stony. Stony! You mind? Stony! What up, man? When's the next Nothing. show? I tried to call you yesterday. I will find that out. In the town, the field, you do me mischief. 
Fie, Demetrius! Your wrongs do set a scandal on my sex. We cannot fight for love as men may do. We should be wooed, and we're not made to woo. Listen, Demetrius. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll follow thee, and make a heaven of hell to die upon the hand I love so well. Exit. See? So I don't get to do Uber on? No, that's it. Right. Can we watch it? Um, you can watch it. <laughs> You're not gonna watch it with me? <laughs> no, but I'll plug it in and I'll rewind. Depends on what you put in the movie. If he revealed a lot of secrets about our relationship I don't want anybody else to know about, then no. Well, they'd have to make a lot of corrections on why I wanted to dump him in the first place. If I loved him, I thought it was worth it. I might be willing to talk to him about it, but if this, the problems were so bad, I had to leave him. Oh, a need time kind of thing. Maybe you can explain what a need time kind of thing is for us guys who don't know. Um, basically getting your head together, figuring out what you want out of life, and if this person's the one you want to be and spend the rest of your life with. Awesome. Hello. Oh, hi, Michael. How are you? Good. Uh, where's Mom? Uh, Ma, let me see. Ma? Ma? Hey, by the way, I'm taping this. Oh, you're taping that? Yeah. Oh, well. I'm going to put it in the movie thing. Have you talked to John at all? No, is John there? Um, no, I think he's coming over at some point. Oh, but... yeah, no, I haven't talked to him for a little while, a couple days now. Just a minute. Huh? Pick up the phone. It's Michael. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. What are you doing? Just watching. Hey, TV. dude, filming. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, okay. No, John just got here. Hello. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Just watching TV. Yeah. Well, good for you. Yeah. So, John just got here, but I was just asking Dad if you had talked to John at all and heard what I'm doing. I'm filming this. Yeah, well, I haven't talked to John for a couple days. Yeah. He there now? Hi, John, if you are. What's up? <laughs> he, he's here playing on the computer and ruining my movie. Oh. So, so um, you know that me and Stacy broke up, so I'm making a movie about her. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about that. I liked her. Yeah, she was kind of. She would be real good for you. She was kind of awesome. Yeah, I, I but, liked her. But I'm not out of the picture yet. No pun intended with picture and movie. So I'm I'm making a movie to try to get her back. Oh, well, that, that's that's different. <laughs> making it for her. Well, yeah, I'm making it um for her and about her. Yeah. And because well, I hope I hope you succeed in it because I liked her. Well, you get to be in it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's This is your big moment right now. Don't we'll, be confused, though. We'll see. No, I'm going to put up pictures. Oh, my God. <laughs> Remember the ones from the wedding? That's what we're going to oh put up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was way overweight then. Yeah, now I'm then. still skinny. <laughs> <laughs> so you got anything do you want to say to Stacy if she sees us? Yeah, well, yeah. Let's see. I love you, Stacy. I don't care if Michael does or not, but I love you. I always did like her. <laughs> you know that. I do know. Yeah. I do know. Well, wish me luck in my endeavors. Well, I certainly do. Yeah. Well, I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Cross your fingers. Oh, okay. We sure will. And I'll be praying. And uh, love you guys. And what's your brother doing? Um, fucking off as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Hanging out with strippers. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I won't, put, I won't put that in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he didn't want you to know that. <laughs> well, he didn't. <laughs> oh, he didn't. Uh, love you guys. Okay. Love you too. Tell John we'll talk to him soon too. Lots of love. <laughs> Lots of love. Okay. Right. I'll bye talk bye. to you later. Bye. <laughs> bye. I would consider it, he would get points for it. Highly. Yeah, I guess I would totally give him a second chance. <laughs> At least a second yeah. chance. Yeah.
Hey. Hey, Michael. Hey, uh, I was actually wanting to get a hold of you lately. Yeah? Yeah. Here I am. Um, I'm uh, meeting with a choreographer later on this weekend. I wanted to show him some work of mine. And uh, I thought of that dance that you filmed for me a uh, long, long time ago. Uh, do you think uh, maybe you could copy it for me? Yeah, sure. Um, that would be no problem. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, um, do you wanna um when do you wanna hook when do you need it by? Uh well as soon as possible we could I'm meeting with him in a couple of days. Uh um Well if you if you wanna swing by later or uh tomorrow, I can have it ready for you. Yeah, yeah. uh Well I am really I'm really busy lately. Uh got rehearsals every night and um But I can here, do you think that Well if you I tell me where if 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 you one, I can bring it by there. Uh, well, you know, most of I'm not at home anyways. You know, I'm out and about. Um, but, you know, Casey was down the street from you. Do you think maybe uh, on her way to work tomorrow she can stop by and pick up the copy for me? Yeah. Um, that'd yeah, be no problem. I mean, it would just be the easiest way, you know? I I'll be here, so. Yeah, okay, cool. I'll tell her to give you a call before she comes by. Thank you so much. No problem. How you doing? Right. How you doing otherwise? Pretty good, actually. Yeah, and you? Not bad. Not bad? No, okay. I mean, depends on how you define not bad, I guess. But, you know, <laughs> overall, not bad. Yeah. But, um... Well, good. That's good to hear. Cool. Well, all right. I guess I'll uh, see you, Tracy, tomorrow and talk to you soon. All righty. All right. <laughs> Thank you again. All right, bye. All right, bye. All right, so Tracy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. How are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing well. How long have you known Tracy? Since I was six. So Somewhere while. around there. Kindergarten, first grade. So a little while. Yeah, quite a while. Most of my life. So next to our parents, you might be second on the list of good info. Probably right around there, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. Uh, she was pretty giddy. She liked you a lot, so of course I was into you too. Thought y'all were a great couple. I was happy for her. You, you think I got a shot? Yeah, Crazy. definitely. <laughs> it's a great idea. Looks good so far. Yeah, but do you think I got a shot? I don't mean with the movie. I mean, do you think I got a shot? I know she'll like the movie at least. Yeah. She'll think it's sweet. I think it's sweet. Do you? Yeah. Do you and what were your thoughts about the breakup? Uh, not too much. I can disclose. She didn't really tell me anything other well, than she needed saying, space. I'm just saying your interpretation. I'm not asking for insider information. People go to jail. Martha Stewart went to jail for that. I'm asking about your feelings on the matter. Your opinion, your take. Uh, nothing I can really say without her hating me. So you were bummed we broke up. Is that what you said? Come on. <laughs> nothing I can say without her being upset. I don't really know what her feelings are on it, so I don't want to say anything. Don't hate me for this. Don't be mad. Love you. <laughs> I don't think they would work though, because what? once you lost the heart, it's very hard to get it back. I'm sure there was there was a very distinct reason why they broke up. There was not overnight decisions to break up. It was something has to do with their heart no longer each other. Once people change their mind, they are gone to different mind 
or towards different lifestyle, it's just not the same anymore. You yeah, have to you have to give her a chance to hang out with other people or spend some time with the other men. See, actually, that man she was with was worth, or whether she was actually in love with that man or whether she loved that man until she finds out herself whether there was it. That man has to give her a chance, time to think about it. that was worth. It. Just, just be sincere to each other. Just, just be happy each other. Hello. Hey. Hi. What are you doing? Uh, uh, actually, I'm a uh, bit out right now um, with some friends of mine. Uh, what uh, calling you? <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm, you know, kind of a right now. Uh, you think I can give you a call back later? Yeah, you're, you're kind of breaking up, so. Okay. All right. Have All right, fun. You know, I'll do that. All right. All right, bye. Bye. I was 31, she was 23, so we were a little bit older. And um, since we've been married, though, there were times when we have been apart, or at least I'm sure it felt like we were apart, if not physically. Much of that had to do with the career, uh, where I was and the travel that was required of me, or I thought was required of me, I was gone a lot. And when uh, Stacy was a little girl, those were times that were pretty hard, I expect, looking back on it, especially for her mom. Uh, she one time said to me, you know, I don't know how I do all of this when you're gone all the time. And so I think to myself sometimes, what would I do if you were dead? And so I just <laughs> pretend that you're dead and go on and take care of everything I need to do. It works. <laughs> and uh, so there were times when, uh, when we were emotionally apart, if not physically apart. But those things worked out. You work through them and life goes on. That way, when he did show up, it was like, oh, such a pleasant surprise, <laughs> instead of being so angry when he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, when, when Stacy was little, it's hard. Any parent will tell you, um, when you have small children or a small child like Stacy, it's just difficult to keep careers, family life, and your relationship all going. Um, but you work through that time, if you go through the bad times, then the good times are even better. And I'm happy to be able to say that. And I look forward to that for Stacy. She'll enjoy that. And if that ends up being with you, I think that'll be wonderful. I think the two of you can work through the difficult times. She's very important to us. And if it's her choice to go a different direction and choose, she needs an opportunity to choose whoever to have lots of choices in her life. And so right now, this may not, a relationship with you may not be what she needs, what's gonna be best for her at this point. But it still means we miss you. Michael, hey, it's Stacy. Uh, sorry, it's been a while, I've uh, been kind of swamped, but um, I'd love to catch up and uh, see how you're doing. So. Um, Give me a call back. Uh, maybe we can meet up for a cup of coffee or something like that. Um, so, yeah. All right. Bye. Do we race? Press 7. So, other than that, I guess I'm going you're in. So, you're monitoring the audio inside. You're fine. So, I guess we're going to do this thing. Let's go. Yay. Dinner with Stacy. Do I look nervous? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Let me get the camera person. Okay. Are you wired in any of them? Completely clear. You can't see. Can you put a no. light on? Yeah, put a light on. Okay. There's camera person. <laughs> now give it to me and go do your thing. Okay. All right. Wish me luck. Good luck, Michael. And I mean that on very many levels. <laughs> Fine.
I gotta go get my stuff. So, uh, we got a lot to talk about after last night's debacle. And, uh, I don't know why the mic is in the shot, but, uh, I guess that's okay as long as it'll comply. First off, Nadia, I am so sorry. She came in to film because she knows us and thought it would be sweet. And, uh, <laughs> boy, was I wrong. Though I am happy to report that I uh, escaped the evening unscathed without a bump or a bruise. Ah, to you motherfucker. The other element, well, I looked like an asshole. I know that. I really thought, you know, man, I was just so giddy to be able to see her. I thought we'd see each other and it'd be just like old times. 
And um, obviously that wasn't the case. I'm sorry. I, uh, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't apologize enough for that. Another bad thing about doing doc type stuff is that it's uh, hard to uh, make yourself look better than what's your, you don't get a second take. So here's what we didn't know. And here's what we learned today. Looking at the tape when I got home, there's something a little fishy. And let me show you that first. Here we go. We're walking out the door. And out of fucking nowhere, dickhead shows me down and makes off with my lady. So that part was pretty much understood. Well, it wasn't understood. And when I edited it today, edited it, that's not an easy thing to say, edited it today, I noticed right here when she's entering the building, right behind her is that same fucking guy. And then as she goes over the other side where I am, she hooks her right, he hooks her left. And I'm assuming that that motherfucker was trying to check me out before he went back to his little fucking spot on wherever the fuck street. Did I know what that was? No, I didn't know until... <laughs> I don't know what that, I think that was supposed to be like a bugle. I get a message today. So here's what we learned today. A la Stacy. I'm sorry about what happened. Um, it is definitely not uh, how I planned on things going. Um, so I'm sorry. And Charlie, uh, I'm sorry about that, too. He's a good friend of mine. Um, we've been hanging out a lot lately. You know, it's not really anything there, but I, I was nervous about how this would go between us. I he was supposed to wait in the car. I'm, whatever, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm sorry. Bye. So you see he was with her. To repeat this message. He was with her. Charlie is her friend. Do you understand what that means? Charlie is her friend. And that does not bode well for me. However, there is one more thing to look at in this tape. And the reason I'm still of um, amicable and hopeful spirits and not feeling like all is lost is that on playback, looking at it here in slow motion... Out of nowhere, there's this guy who says, hey, hear it, hey, followed by my being bowled over by this six foot monkey boy. No, that's not the important part. Follow Stacy. Listen, she's saying Michael, Michael, Michael. Actually, I think she only says it twice to be fair. Her first instinct was me. Michael. Michael Michael So you can tell me I'm a dreamer You can think I'm full of shit And you can think I've never known what I'm talking about Stacy I'm telling you now Listen to your gut Hear your gut Because it's right fucking there on tape I'll play it again Oh I will I know your heart And you know mine And if we could just listen to that For like five minutes man all this could be happy days again. I just know it. Let me get this mic out of this shot. Well, oh, that's much better. Listen to your heart. And ask yourself if you're not in love with me, if what you had just told me at the table two minutes before that was true, then why were you coming to me? Why were you rushing towards me? Why was your first instinct to take care of me. I think you know why. And it's that belief that keeps me going on, despite the fact that you seem to want to try to dissuade me. And I don't know what you're afraid of with me. Sometimes people get too close and uh, they do what they call self-sabotage and just give up a good thing because they're freaked out by it or feel they don't deserve it. I don't know. I'm not a fucking psychiatrist. But I do know that you called my name. You called my name in the midst of tragedy. And I love you too. I was just checking my 
have stopped doing I don't do new things. <laughs> Turn it off, for real. It's off. No, it's not. It don't is off. Don't point it at me. No, I swear to God. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> It was on. Oh, there you go. It was, oh, what? You're shy? I wouldn't. Oh, someone's shy. You don't like people in your private space? All right. Uh, let's see. What's your name, sir? <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be shy. What's your name? Michael Davis. Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite color, Michael Davis? Fuchsia. Fuchsia. <laughs> no, it's not. Mm. And uh, so do you have a girlfriend? Yes. Oh, you do. Is she cute? Kind of adorable. Kind of adorable. Are you in love? A little bit. A little bit? How much? A lot. A lot? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she's here. Don't know when she's leaving. So I guess we just wait for now. Nothing conspicuous about a guy in a car with that, is there? <laughs> okay. All right. And there she goes. Don't know where. I don't know why. But she's leaving. That's gonna look good. Nothing like fuzzy video. So, let's go. And we're rolling. There are times when autofocus is a good thing. I've seen enough spy movies to know that you leave a few car lengths in between shit. There she is. Right there. -ish. I can't see her. I tried. Going to visit Tracy. You know, I understand there's a reason I'm doing this, <laughs> but I'm going to have to admit that uh, I do feel as though I might be crossing some boundaries <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> but it's uh, for the greater good and the greater purpose. So I wish I could get a little better shot, but I'm Why do people stalk? Stalking is kind of boring. I'm just not getting it right now. It's Tracy. Hi, Tracy. We're leaving. Now that was fun, wasn't it? We needed gas. I think I've seen videos all like this of like J Lo, Britney Spears, and shit. I'm not sure at what point this gets fun. Hi, pretty girl. Apparently, her life has gotten especially exciting since we've broken up. Where are we? We are way over here. You gotta like a 20x lens. <laughs> She's so tiny. Don't you think of hitting on her, Mr. Man. Man, this is hard when you get in the neighborhood. The people who do see me are looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. No. <laughs> I don't think you can tell how silly this looks. One hand driving, stick shifting with a huge camera. Let's see how talented am I. Let's see how well autofocus works. <laughs> I almost drifted into the car, and that would have been bad. Hello, neighbor. 
surprisingly less than thrilled too much fucking information but uh I don't know how do you make sense of that you know so I'll have a smoke so now I don't think I'm gonna quit. I just don't know. That ain't good. Yeah? Michael? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? I can't tell you. Look, I can't explain it, but trust me. Stacy. So I wasn't supposed to be there. So does that mean I can't be pissed off about what I saw? If you read something in someone's diary, does that mean that they get off scot-free? Because uh, you weren't supposed to read it? Obviously, it doesn't behoove me to... um piss her off or freak her out in that regard I'm sorry and then there's dickhead from the restaurant don't know if you were to give some advice to me what what would that be well I would uh, I would think just to make sure that uh, she doesn't feel any pressure. Uh, she, if, if things work out for you, it needs to be because she wants to come back. It's not because she feels guilty or because she feels like you're in, feel that you're needy. Those are not the basis for a good relationship. So my advice to you is be friendly, uh, be as close as you, as circumstances would permit you to be. To make sure she has the kind of space that she needs to make the decisions uh, that would normally flow from that kind of experience. Uh, and if it, uh, if it goes uh, the way I'm assuming you hope it does, then that would be <laughs> obviously a good thing. And as we said before, if that's what makes her happy, in the end that's what will make you happy also. Any additional? No, what he said is really pretty good. Um, <laughs> give her, give her the time and the space she needs so that she can make the choice. If you do put pressure or do seem needy, that's going to make her. That's going to have a negative effect. I really think it will. Right. If if anything, leaving a void, your being gone leaves a void in her life, and she might miss you, and realize. For your sake, if that's if it works out, that um, that that you void know, does need to be filled. She she she's obviously right about <clears throat> that. But when we think about it, Michael, it'd be uh, you know, it'd be uh, our luck that 
you will find your way together and you'll be an impoverished filmmaker the rest of your life. <laughs> On the other hand, if you go a separate way, you'll probably be mega successful and we'll say, look what might have been. <laughs> <laughs> Murphy's Law. Uh -huh. Well, you have to remember, and I know you do, that she is uh, you know, the apple of my eye. She's uh, my only daughter. She is everything in the world to me. And uh, someday, if you're a parent, especially of one beautiful baby girl, you'll appreciate that. And having said that, her happiness is paramount uh, for us. And uh, if that path uh, takes her a different way, then that's the way uh, her life is unfolding. If by the same token, please know that it turned out that at some point in the future that your paths crossed and that you were indeed together again, we'd welcome that, especially if that uh, is a, a measure or uh, an indication of her happiness. Well, I appreciate it. And uh, I'll unplug the mics and take the lights and get out of your house now, but I do appreciate it and I do hope this isn't the last time we see each other. Well, Michael, we hope that we're invited to the premiere. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you definitely will be. <laughs> All right. Showing. You can take off your tie now. <clears throat> Thank you. I'll call you back. Please leave your message after the tone. Press 1 to send a numeric page. Hey, this is Michael. And uh, I understand why you haven't been taking my calls that day in the park and uh, pretty much every day since we've been apart. I've been working on this movie thing about you or about us or something like that. And um, I don't expect anything at this point, but I'm sure you can appreciate what I've done to some degree. So if you would, just at least give me a call back. It's nearly done, done enough for you to see. And, uh, or at least answer when I call, okay? And I hope to talk to you then. Bye. me. I guess you got my message. Mm -hmm. so can you come see this thing? I don't know. I understand. Um, but uh, I put a lot of time in this and when we broke up, even if it doesn't seem like that great an idea right now, it seemed like a good idea at the time, and I did put a lot of work into it. And uh, if you just come see it. Okay, well, to be perfectly honest, this all kind of makes me feel a little uncomfortable. Oh, I understand. But, um, and I can see why you wouldn't want to be in that position but if you want you can bring Charlie if you need to feel comfortable or something right. you know but just about everyone you know is in it and um, as far as it goes I think it's turned out kind of cool kind of interesting and who knows what could become of it you know 
And you got your dreams and maybe in some weird way this can help, you know? Alright. I can do it, but... Okay, well, um... That's it, I can't promise you anything else. Okay. How about, um, tomorrow? Uh, no, tomorrow's not good. Um, what about the next day? Well, that works. Um... Okay. Nine? Yeah, that works. I'll talk to you then. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. No, I wasn't crying. I'm not trying to make it look like I was crying. Just fucking hot. I know. What a way to go out, huh? Tomorrow is the day. Game up. Ready or not. And I don't even know what I've done. Stacy, look. This is going to be the last part you're going to see. I hope... What I hope is that... um. Seven, eight months of us being together that you might be the only person that understands this. And you might be the only person in the world who understands me. The bottom line is I can't imagine my life without you. And even though this has been a, a fucked up series of months working on this thing, I still felt like I had you in my life, you know. Is, um, might not talk to you, but I'd be talking about you and talking to people about you and looking at pictures and reminiscing and talking to your parents. And, and, it, and it felt it did something to make me feel like um, it was still there, even if it wasn't. But I hope that you see, man, that there are a few people who will go where I'll go to make you happy to try. I mean, I put everything on the fucking line and I fucking put everything else on hold and that ain't to make you feel guilty. I was, God, that sounds pathetic. <laughs> I don't know how to say the right things at this point anymore. I just know I can't imagine anyone else taking your place and that I'm not... I'm lost, man. I need you to come back and I made a promise and I'll keep it and I'll let you go and you can go do whatever you want to do and you can forget all the fuck about me and I wish you nothing but the best and I want you to be happy and I hope you can believe that. I just was trying to make something people would watch because I know if they see you They'll see what I see, and maybe it ain't a good thing. Maybe you don't need 10,000 more stalkers. But maybe the right people will see this, and the right people will give you an opportunity that you wouldn't have had. And I guess I've I played a play a part in that. Then um, to a degree I've succeeded if I've got you back or not. But just consider me. Just consider me. You don't have to tell me an answer. Just consider me. Just don't rule me out. Just keep me in the game. Keep me in your head. I love you. And I'd do anything for you. And I'd find it hard to believe that there's another motherfucker out there who would go as far as I would go. I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, everyone else, cross your fingers and uh, say your prayers and start hoping that she does or doesn't because I guess that's uh, about the corner that I put myself in. Well, thanks for watching. 
Even if you're uh, not rooting for me, I appreciate you sticking it through. And uh, I hope maybe you've fallen a little bit in love with Stacy as I have. It's not hard to do. See you tomorrow. So uh, I got all the cameras, and uh, supposedly they're on their way over. And there's nothing more for me to do.
watch. And you need to stay. Don't fight me, alright? In the meantime, just watch in the meantime. I don't want to remind you, I have a gun.
I just need to know that you understand. I just need to know what you think. You know what I want you to say. What do you want me to say? You know what I want you to say. You fucking crazy, Michael. What are you doing at my house? Leave my parents alone. I don't love you, Stop. Michael. What do you want me to say? Stop it. <laughs> just, just, I fucking did everything for you, man. I what? I fucking put everything into this. You hide me up to a fucking chair. Shut up. I don't love just you. Just shut up. That hum wasn't the way that that was supposed to end. And I guess if someone else is going to have to edit this thing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry.
Hi. I just, um... Killed my ex-girlfriend and her boyfriend. Michael? Yeah? Isn't this long enough? <laughs> yeah? I just wanted to see how long you'd lay there. My name's Michael Ray Schlogel, and I'm a filmmaker. <laughs> That's what happened. How is the blood? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm curious. My God. <laughs> yeah, well, you probably won't be happy much when I kill her. Either, yeah, but not at all. Michael! 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 I can't talk to you. That's good. I use one of those. All right, so I grab her. Dude, get your hands off of me. Ready? No, 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 no. Get your hands off of this sucks. Tell him I'm going to do it. So awesome. Is that in here? Hang on, let me look at what we wrote down. No, you're supposed to be going out with Tracy. <laughs> He's in meeting this weekend. I can't believe Tracy the whole weekend. We can't come back. Bye. I don't really see any blood. I swear to God. I know, you barely got any. I gotta go get my stuff. I think that was awesome. How did it look? I don't know if I can cut that or not. I think I gotta take it back from over there. Sorry, guys. Push it, push it out.